Okay, I'd like to give you my assessment of the Reset 2016 after watching it, um, most of it enduring it. Um, it. Towards the end, it got really bad. But at first, when it first started out, there were some, I think, people there that, uh, you know, were letting God use them to some degree. Um, there were some good messages there. Um, but overall, it was, uh, it was really, without question, it was, uh, it was very, uh, very removed from traditional Christianity or the true Christianity that we know. Um, but the thing that I noticed that stood out to me uh, throughout was the different times were drawing a circle around oneself um, and getting into that circle. Now, if you know anything about witchcraft, that's what they do. They draw a circle of salt, um, sometimes not even a salt, just just a circle, and then they get inside the circle. And this seemed like it was uh, constantly being repeated several times throughout the, um, the course of this meeting, um, where they kept on going back to this circle um, to get into this circle and pray. Um, Remember, this is what they do in witchcraft. They, they will make a circle out of salt, and they get inside that circle so they're protected from demons. Um, now, as far as the overall message, I think it was mostly humanistic. Um, I could see how it was a good setup for the New World Order, a good setup for introduction to um, to a a global society. Uh, there was a lot of hints to that. Uh, there was a lot of, uh, not only that, but there was, you know, it seemed that they were using it for, almost in a sense, they were using it for political, even though they would say it wasn't political. But there was an overtone there um, where it almost felt like it was... Uh, uh, well, it's like the, like one of them said, or I guess it was the found, the founder of the of the movement. Um, he he, Chip Hall, I guess his name was, but he came right out and said uh, basically that uh, we're trying to reach across the aisle. And when he, inv uh, you know, was allowing the Pope to give a message, and and there was a Catholic uh, priest uh, of the diocese, I guess, someone that was wearing purple, I believe it was, um, that was there. And I did notice that uh, that Chip did kind of diss this uh, Catholic uh, priest. Um, and I could tell that the Catholic preach, priest didn't appreciate it. But um, he asked him at the end of what he had to say, and he asked Chip, you know, what he thought, and Chip kind of... <laughs> kind of basically just shrugged him off, you know, just kind of like, you could tell he just gave him the cold shoulder. And he quickly went into the next thing that they were doing so that he could just get away from that. But, um, you know, I just, I, I feel like a lot of the whole meeting had to do with being politically correct. And the overall scripture that I got from what I felt the Lord show me about this meeting is the scripture about a form of godliness. And I want to turn there. Um, and 2 Timothy chapter 3, uh, verse 5, it says, Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. Now, without question, they did have a form of godliness, a form of our, of our religion, a form of the true Christianity. But there was no power, and there was no life, and, and there was no anointing. It was just dead. I mean, it was only a few messages throughout the whole meeting that had any real life or real anointing in it. 
And that that's because it comes down to the individual. But as far as the whole meeting itself, there was no power. There was no anointing. There was no life there. And uh, so I, you know, this scripture, I think, really helps us to put it into perspective. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. It seemed like they were saying all the right things. I mean, they were saying things I say. But I'll tell you, as it started to get towards the end of the meeting, it really began to go downhill to where they started opening the, the door to the rappers coming and rapping, and it just got real demonic towards the end. Um, but um, um, I think... I mean, I don't see how it made any difference. You know, it was just a lot of wasted money, wasted effort, wasted time. Um, I didn't feel any real heartfelt prayers, you know, in my spirit when I was watching anything that was real. I think they just all came together to kind of, you know, offer God lip service, really. Um and I'm, and I'm not being mag- negative. I'm just telling you what I perceived, what I, you know, experienced watching this meeting. Um, so, yeah, I, I was not impressed. I wasn't, wasn't, I didn't receive a blessing from it. It wasn't God. I didn't feel the Holy Spirit. Um, and, and it's sad. And I remember when they did off, they did ask for a donation, um, they didn't ask for a couple dollars or ask what the people wanted to give. They, they mentioned, give us $10, and we're going to give you a number to text to, and it's going to give you instructions on how you can pay that $10. And, you know, when you look at how many people were there, just say there was, just say there was 10,000 people there. That's 10,000 times $10. That's a lot of money. And what if there was a million people there and, and they got a $10 for each? That's $10 million, you know? So I just, I didn't, I didn't appreciate the overall feel of the whole thing. Um, I didn't, they kept on, through the whole thing, they kept on looking, uh, you know, getting a view of the Washington Monument or the, the male phallus, you know, the sun sundial. They kept on getting a, getting that in their video. They wanted to make sure they got that in there. So sad. I mean, something so demonic and evil, you know. I mean, I know the people were gathered around it and there was people that in that direction, but they could have done it in such a way where they didn't bring that Washington Monument in so much. It just shows you how out of touch they are that they would think that the Washington Monument was some great thing. You know, just, just to be in the location they were in um, to be in the Washington, you know, to be in the mall, um, you know, just such a demonic setting. It's evil. I mean, this is a demonic place. Uh, and But um, it just overall seemed like to me it was just a lot of entertainment. You know, that's what it seemed like. It was just a big concert with entertainment. And... Um, a lot of New Age messages. As far as the true gospel of Jesus Christ being preached or shared, there was only very few. And I thank God for that. You know, we thank God that He got His the, the Lord's voice was in it at all. Amen. So we do thank God for that. But overall, I do think it was basically just a waste of time. I really do. Um. Just wasted time, wasted, wasted, uh, wasted money, and uh, wasted hope, waste, wasted effort. Um, because I, you know, when you pray, the Bible says you got to pray in faith, believing. You know, you're not going to receive anything from God if you don't pray in faith. And I just did not see people out there that even had an understanding of what it meant to pray in faith. I saw a lot of people that were praying, but I don't think they even know what it means to pray in faith. And 
it's it's sad. It it really is sad. But uh, you know, to open the door to Hell Song to be there and all these other. Uh, I will say this: Jeremy Camp really blessed my heart. I mean, uh, I didn't know that he was really serving the Lord. Uh, I didn't know his heart. He was keeping his heart clean before the Lord. But uh, when he when he testified and when he sang, it really blessed me. And so, you know, th- that was a blessing out of the whole meeting. Um, but the overall feel of it and as far as what I took away from it, it was sad. It really was just a form of godliness and uh, sad. That that's my that's my uh, opinion. Uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. If you'd like to leave your comments below, or and if you haven't uh, subscribed to this channel, we welcome you to. God bless you. Have a good evening.